Hey guys, it's Billy from Sweetie Darling and this week I'm going to show you how I make Galaxy Cupcake Toppers. It's a very quick, very easy video, but I love doing Galaxy themed things. I just think they, they are quick and easy, but they look so cool. So to make my Galaxy Toppers, I have some black, some ivory and some purple because I do like a bit of purple and I've sort of rolled the colours into sausages and then pushed them together and then I'm twisting the colours together and I just keep twisting and twisting and twisting when it gets a bit longer I'll fold over and again keep twisting 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 then I'll give it a couple of knees just to make sure the colours are fairly blended and there's no real way of telling how your colours are going to come out when they're rolled out but the good thing with the galaxy ones is we're going to do something later so even if you've had an area that was really detailed and an area that wasn't at all detailed they're still all gonna look good as a set together so after my twisting together and my kneading I'll put some corn flour down and then roll out my fondant until it's as thin as I want it and then you can see here when the marbly bits have rolled out so I actually have some sections that are really detailed and interesting with a lot of color and then some which aren't really so much there might be like a slight smear of a light color behind it but I know it's gonna be okay at this stage I use my Americolor white gel and I squeeze a tiny bit into a tub I actually squeeze way too much into this tub I don't need anywhere near that and I dip a flat paintbrush into it and then I straight my fingers back across the brush and obviously aim it towards my fondant and just splatter white dots all over the fondant and it makes it look like a starry galaxy sky and I love this effect it is so easy quick simple to do but it looks amazing and once that's done I can then cut out my discs with some circle cutters you can choose whatever size disc you want for your cupcakes. I didn't want something huge, obviously I didn't want something tiny either because they do need to be galaxy cupcakes. Once I'd cut mine out, I just left them to dry on foam overnight so I could easily handle them when I came to put them on my cupcakes. Now, if you would like my cupcake recipe, I'm gonna put a link to that below. The same with my buttercream recipe. I'll put a link to that below because I've done videos on these before already. So once my cupcakes were baked and cooled, I piped a small swirl of buttercream onto each one and then picked up my firmed up fondant galaxy discs and pressed one onto the top of each cupcake. And that's it, simple as that. Like I say, they're very quick, they're very easy, but they are so effective. And I really love this design. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I know it's quite a small one. There is no hashtag yes darling shout out this week because at the time I'm recording it, I've actually done the shout outs for this week already in another video. So if you can spy the same clothes in the same disheveled style, actually with most of my videos, but if you can spy the same t-shirt, you'll know which video that is and you'll actually see me getting the cupcakes out of the oven in that video. I'll probably do something this week where I'll do the hashtag yes darling features in my Instagram stories or something. I'll do, I will make up for it somehow. That being said, I should be back to normal next week. So if you are baking or cake decorating this week, make sure you take photos and use hashtag yes darling on Instagram so I can see and so everyone Everyone else can see and then I should be back to doing another hashtag yes darling shout out next week I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't already there are brand new videos every single Monday thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week